Yes, ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome someone who's going to be a regular in Comedy Shuffle, Dr. Coca-Cola McDonald! <laughs> right, I am Dr. Coca-Cola McDonald's 21st century protest singer. Uh, and I might have noticed I'm a clown, but I don't want to hear any of that clownist stereotyping. <laughs> right, so I realise that when you generalise, they're general lies. <laughs> No, you didn't get that. When they're general lies, they're general lies. <laughs> I had a friend called Mr Patel. I used to stay in his hotel. But one day I started to worry because he was Indian and he didn't like curry. What? <laughs> An Indian person that doesn't like curry? That can't be true, could it? Cos when you generalise, they're generalised. And it means you've got nothing to say, cos when you generalise, they're generalised. And it means you've got nothing to say. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> I had a friend and his name was Dale. He was straight, white and male, but he didn't know anything at all about a sport called football. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> a straight white man that's not constantly thinking about lager, football, and is considerate enough to leave the toilet seat up, down. <laughs> <laughs> what would the newspapers say? Cos when you generalise, the general lies. And it means you've got nothing to say. Hey. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm Dr. Coca Cola Donald. When it comes to protests, I am the most test. And the Doctor will be back next week. Now it's time for the strange, the musically challenged Dr. Coca-Cola McDonald's. <laughs> oh, yes, hello, I am Dr. Coca-Cola McDonald's. So a glowing box in the corner has recently helped me find out who I am. And it's like this. It was very, very boring. Everyone was snoring. There was nothing much to do. Then they invented the internet, the internet, the internet. Then they invented the internet. We've all got free pornography. <laughs> if you are into pornography, please don't go to www.shiteaters.com. <laughs> Apparently, they're not heaters that don't work. <laughs> It's all right for you, I can't look at a double-decker again. <laughs> it was 1993. There was nothing much to see. On the radio or TV. <laughs> Tee hee 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 hee. <laughs> Cos they the internet, the internet, the internet. Cos they the internet. But it's not as good as Steve Vax! Thank you very much. Come on, Steve Vax. Take that baby on. Well, that's the end of the show. Um, moving on to our next act. Now, I'm very excited. And when you see him, you'll know why. Um, he's very special to me, and I've seen him loads of times, and I love him. And I want you to welcome my future husband, <laughs> Doctor... <laughs> Doctor Coca-Cola McDonald! Hey, uh, uh, it has been amazing. Yes, hello! Um, it's been amazing now. I've been on a comedy shovel twice already, and uh, my life has just gone absolutely crazy. I've had four hits on my MySpace page. <laughs> And I've been hanging out with people like Amy Winehouse, Jude Law. Well, not them, but people like them. <laughs> I'm gonna make you uh, an Elton John career. I'm gonna make you uh, 
a David Beckham kebab. <laughs> I'm gonna put Jay Good here in a baked potato. <laughs> Michael Jackson's gonna make you one freaky key. <laughs> Feed celebrities to the third world. <laughs> I'm gonna make ya a boil in the bag, Bono. <laughs> I'm gonna put the edge into a risotto. <laughs> and Adam Clayton, you know, the bass player from U2, blonde hair, glasses, you know him. I'd put him in a big pie. <laughs> and Larry Mullen, the drummer from U2, you know the guy. If you saw him in the street, you might not know him. <laughs> but it's still she's kebab his ass. <laughs> Feed celebrities to the third world. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna feed. Oh, you got the idea. Thank you. <laughs> Let's all have a toast there. That's my future husband right there. You can't have him, he's mine. Next week, the guest host... Ladies and gentlemen, Dr Coca-Cola McDonald's! Woo! Well, hello, yes, I am Dr Coca-Cola McDonald's, and I've decided to take a different direction in my music. I've decided to become a bad boy MC. Right. Thank you very much. You see, you don't know where I came from. You don't know how hard it was where I grew up. This is my reality, man. It was hard being a middle-class white boy <laughs> from a middle-white class suburb. In the ghetto, they'll stand and stare. In the ghetto, they'll stand and stare. In the ghetto, they'll stand and stare. Probably because I'm not supposed to be there. Come into my crib. I'll entice you. Come into my crib. I'll entice you. Come into my crib. I'll entice you. Bought it with my savings with my tax-free ISA. Yes, I'm on the attack and well, I'm a little bit slack and um. My lyrics are slack. I'm a middle-class boy from a coldy sack. So fat. F-A-T is so fat. F-A-T is so fat. F-A-T, because that's the way it's spelled in the dictionary. Yes, I'm on the attack and yes, I'm a little bit slack and yes, my lyrics are whack. I'm a middle class boy from a coldy sack. Peace, people, I'm out of here. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, parents, if you let me. Vicky, throw to the closing link. Ladies and gentlemen, your final guest this evening is one of my personal favourites. Please make him feel very welcome, the wonderful Dr. Coca-Cola McDonald's. Dr. Coca-Cola McDonald's. like that. <laughs> He's actually real. I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless for Australia. Hey, I think that's all we've got time for here at uh, Comedy.